He's also saying congratulations on the new place of living. <laughs> I just bought a house. <laughs> he says, please let her know congratulations, congratulations. She's gonna be so happy there. a couple different souls that I'm connecting with on the other side, but also at the same time, there's also a young male that's here that passed as well that's coming through with you. Was that your boyfriend? Yeah. He's here because he keeps saying to me, we're supposed to get married. <laughs> So first of all, I have to tell you that he's coming through on the other side. And right away, he says to me, Matt, I wasn't sure how to come through because he tells me you're still pissed off at him, he tells me. <laughs> and he goes to me, Matt, he goes, since I died, he goes, I've been trying to let her know that I'm with her in so many ways. He says, I play music for her because he tells me that he sends you songs. You've been hearing all these songs that you know are him. And then he also tells me about the fact that like you'll see t-shirts that remind you of him or shirts that remind you of him. I Yeah, I have a t I have several t-shirts of his that I still wear. But are there also shirts like with, like I keep seeing a shirt with beer companies on it. How do you connect with like <laughs> the, the beer shirts he's calling them? Yeah. <laughs> Like I see, like, I'm gonna tell you what it is. Like I, I see like a Budweiser shirt when I'm connecting with him that he's showing me and like these different shirts that he used to wear. And I think he used to get them at pubs. Did he used to go to like pubs or bars where he would get these shirts? Um, He went to different like fests, you know, oh, like- uh, Cause these are like free t-shirts, not ones that you would go and like buy at like Walmart or something, you know what right. I mean? And then he's showing me like, anytime you see those, like I feel like that's one of the, the ways that he's been trying to use to get your attention. So have you seen people like, I know it sounds weird, but wearing like shirts that, he used to wear yeah i i just actually wore one i wore one to sleep last night <laughs> That's exactly perfect no it's his way of just acknowledging that because first of all i have to tell you he's coming through and this man was your true love here in the physical world i gotta tell you yes that. he was and you had a weird relationship with him first of all i gotta tell you that and i apologize for saying it that way but i see the situation like did you meet him once before and then you reconnected with one another well we broke up but we really couldn't stay apart from each other so oh, we kind of just were together without a title or you know whatever <laughs> that's not total. to me that's weird i apologize but he says to me, he was mad because he shows me now we were together but then there was the separation and then we got reconnected that's what he shows me so first of all i gotta tell you something he said to me matt he says that time apart from her was the hardest thing that I went through. He says, because I could not leave her alone, he tells me. And he literally says to me, he goes, Matt, he goes, I didn't realize I was like this. He goes, but I was like a little bit of a stalker, he tells me, because I had to know like where she was and what she was doing. And he tells me he used to spy on you. I don't want to be creepy, but that's what he's telling me. So did you ever find out about that? No. Because he told me about the fact, well, wait a minute, you're telling me you didn't find out about that. He tells me your friends know. Oh, well, if my friends know, I mean, I, they didn't say anything, but. He tells me this when I'm connecting with him. But he says to me, Matt, I got to tell you some other things. He says, when I came to her and we started our relationship, he says, what was so tough is that I had other problems that I was going through, he tells me. He, he says, did. and I came, he says, I came with a lot of baggage because right away when I'm connecting with him, he's showing me addiction issues when I'm connecting with him. And yeah. the hardest thing is, is that he tells me that these were problems that he was supposed to leave in the past. These were problems that he wasn't supposed to bring forward and he wasn't supposed to have in the relationship. Because mm -hmm. he said to me, Matt, he says, I didn't mean to not tell the truth. He tells me he told you about this. He did. But he also told you that he was done with this, that he was leaving this part of his life. And I Several will tell you, <laughs> but, but, but I'm going to tell you something, okay? And I don't always get to say this. He was telling the truth. There's sometimes when people will tell you that, but they lie. And I don't see that he lied. I see that he had every intention of stopping what he was doing. And when I tell you he tried, he is showing me, and the other side does not lie. The spirits won't lie to us. They'll tell us the truth. They'll either tell us that they did it or they'll tell us that they did it. And he said to me, Matt, I tried. He says, but this was something that haunted me, our entire relationship. He says, because I would stop. He says, and then I couldn't take it anymore. He says, and something would come up. He says, and this was like, it would always haunt me. He says, it, it was like a need. Mm -hmm. He says to me, and I realized that this was more than just an addiction. He says, this was like an illness that I had. He says, I kept going back to this. He says, and for that, he says, I let this interfere with us. I let this interfere with our relationship. He says, and I let this interfere with so much. He says, and that's the reason why he says, I could never fully commit to getting married, to doing all these things. He says, because I had this haunting me in the background. And it's sad because you feel Feel. Like you had to share him with his addiction. And he tells me that sometimes you were together and he was the perfect person and you had so much fun and he was the best. And then there were times when you felt like you didn't even know the person that you were with. He said to me, he wants to apologize for that. He says, because Matt, I have to let her know that she was my true love. He says, and every single time that I stopped, he says, I did it for her. And I got to tell you that he talks about before he met you, there was a time that he overdosed. Did he ever tell that to you? Or did you ever know about that? No. Because he brings that through. 
And he says to me, Matt, he said, this was really bad. I see that before you met him, I feel like this was really bad. And I see him easing up on it. But at the end of the day, this was always in the background, he tells me. And he talks about this causing his passing here in this world. So please know that he wants to thank you for all the patience that you had with him, for all the times that you've forgiven him, but not just the way that you've forgiven him, but the way that you try to work through this with him. He says, Matt, I can't thank her enough for this. Because at the end of the day, he tells me that the hardest thing was is that you weren't just battling this addiction through him. He also tells me that you were battling your family and friends as well, because they all didn't understand why you were with him or why you would be with him because of the fact that it seemed like you were suffering more than he was. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> he says to me, thank you for not giving up on me. But the day that he died, he says, Matt, he says, I made a mistake, he tells me. And he says to me that the saddest thing was is that he never wanted this to hurt you. He says, and I apologize. So please tell her one thing. He says, please let her know that I had every intention of marrying her. I had every intention of being with her. He tells me that. And... <laughs> I don't know if you specifically know this, but he does show me looking at rings when I'm connecting with him. No way. Did he have a ring picked out, do you know? I have no idea. Because <laughs> he just showed me the connection. And this is how spirit talks to me, okay? Is that they'll show me different things. Is that he, he just showed me K Jewelers when I'm connecting. So when I see that, that shows me that either he had priced things out or looked things out. So that shows me, because I showed, I asked him, show me something so I really know that you were serious. And he showed me that. So he's letting you know this for one reason. Because after he died, there's so many things that came up. And there's so many things that you still question. Was he really serious? Would he really yeah. marry me? Would he really have done this? He said to me, you have my word, I would have. He says, but there was one thing that I had to do first. I knew I had to get through this addiction, he tells me. And by the way, he's also saying congratulations on the new place of living. <laughs> I just bought a house. <laughs> he wants to thank you for that because he just showed me keys being handed over and he says, please let her know. Congratulations. Congratulations. She's going to be so happy there. <laughs> so, he says, awesome. so he says to me that please know that when you move his soul, you will feel him in that house. And I'm telling you this because he says, I don't want her to think it's haunted, Matt. If she feels <laughs> weird it's just me he says i'm coming to visit her because he does come and visit you he tells me but i really hope that this helped you and please know that all those signs that you're getting at him it's his way of letting you know that he is at peace and more importantly that he is watching over you here in this world thank you <laughs> you're very welcome i'm gonna leave you with that